Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my first ever video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a oversized t-shirt like this one into a high-low racerback tank top like this one. It is really easy, requires no sewing, so let's get started. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is gather your materials. You're going to need the t-shirt that you want to alter, a pair of scissors, and a beer. This is optional, of course, for my 21 and older viewers. Please drink and craft responsibly. The first thing you need to do is cut off the hemline along the very bottom of the t-shirt. You'll want to go ahead and keep this piece because we'll use it a little bit later in the tutorial. The next thing I do is chop off the sleeves right along the hemline. I start by cutting them off just along the hemline because later I go in and I take off more depending on how thin I want my straps to be and how deep I want my armholes to be. And this is definitely where having a good pair of scissors comes in handy. I kind of struggled with the pair that I was trying to use. Alright, now you're going to cut your neckline. I wanted a scoop neck, so I started by cutting a smaller scoop. Remember, less is more. You can always go back and cut more off, but once you've cut it, you can't get it back. Next, you'll flip your shirt over and you'll want to cut a nice deep V. This will give you that racer back. And you can adjust this too if you want to show like more back then you can cut the, the V a little bit deeper. Alright, next I cut the straps. So I folded the shirt in half so that the straps would be even on both sides. And I wanted mine fairly thin and I wanted the arm holes fairly deep so that I could wear a cute bandeau underneath. Um, but you need to be aware that the fabric will roll and your straps will become a little bit thinner. So you want to cut it a little wider than you want them to actually be. Next, you're going to take that hemline piece that we had saved before and cut it right in half and give it a good stretch all over. And you're going to use this piece to pull the two straps in the back together to create your racer back. So tie it in a double knot towards the top and then you're just going to sort of wrap, wrap, wrap it all the way down about six to eight inches and then tie it off again in a double knot. All right, and there you have it. You want to give everything a good pull to sort of secure it, and you will want to cut your hemline however you want it to be. I cut mine in that sort of high-low that you can see, but you can cut it sort of however you want or just leave it flat along the bottom. You lift me up so much higher than I've been before And any other girl would have punched me square in the jaw But I'll be old and lonely someday Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up or subscribe or leave me a comment so that I know since it's my first video ever. And you can see more photos of this tutorial and a lot of other fun stuff at my blog, butfirstcoffeeblog.com.